Happy morning children. Today English class for grade 4 in English class in this video we are going to see a prose lesson. The prose title is Alice in Wonderland. I hope you will enjoy this prose. Dear children shall I start? Here this prose lesson Alice in Wonderland story was written by Lewis Carroll. This novel Alice Adventure in Wonderland written in 1865. It tells about a young girl who falls through a rabbit hole into a wonderland populated with peculiar and human-like animals. Dear children, this story, Alice in Wonderland story, is very very long story, but here just only one part. First part only has given for you. So you want to just try to understand this story. Okay, you want to read this story thoroughly. Okay, children. Here we see the story. One day Alice was lying under a tree and also she listening a story. The story was reading by her sister. At the time suddenly she saw a white rabbit. That white rabbit had pink eyes and also it was wearing a blue coat. He took out a big watch from his waistcoat pocket as he hurried away. At the time that white rabbit said, Oh dear, I will be too late. She thought there was something very different about this rabbit. Because that rabbit could talk, it wore a red waistcoat and also it carried a watch. Alice wondered about the talking rabbit. The talking rabbit who wears a waistcoat. Alice was burning with curiosity because she wants to know about that white rabbit. So she followed the white rabbit. That white rabbit started running. Alice also started to running because she wanted to follow the rabbit. That rabbit suddenly popped down a large rabbit hole. Alice also jumped into that rabbit hole too. That rabbit went down and down, deep down into the rabbit hole. Alice said loudly, Where am I? How many miles down have I fallen? I must be getting somewhere near the center of the earth. She wondered and said that, Will I slip through the earth to the other side? Here, thump. This is a sound. This sound was Alice. This is resembles Alice landed on a pile of dry leaves. She looked around quickly and suddenly saw the white rabbit again. That white rabbit disappeared and says, Oh, my ears and whiskers, how late it's getting. Alice stood up and saw a small door about 15 inches high. It was, the door was too small for her to go through. She saw a glass table with a golden key on it. So she tried the little golden key in the lock and to her delight it fitted. Here, Alice opened that small door and looked into the loveliest garden. She had ever seen how she longed to be among those beds of bright flowers and those cool fountains here, but she could not even get her head through the doorway. She exclaimed loudly, Oh, wow, I wish I could become smaller. Next, let's we read the prose lines. Okay, children. Here, one day, Alice was lying under a tree, listening to her sister reading a story. Suddenly, she saw a white rabbit scamper by. He had pink eyes and was wearing a blue coat. He took out a big watch from his waistcoat pocket and as he hurried away, he said, Oh dear, I will be too late. She thought there was something very different about this rabbit. It could talk. It wore a red waistcoat and it carried a watch. Alice wondered, a talking rabbit, a rabbit who wears a waistcoat. Alice was burning with curiosity and she followed the white rabbit. The rabbit started running and Alice followed the rabbit. The rabbit suddenly popped down a large rabbit hole. 
Alice jumped into the rabbit hole too. The rabbit went down and down and down and down into the rabbit hole. Alice said aloud, Where am I? How many miles down have I fallen? I must be getting somewhere near the center of the earth. She wondered, Will I slip through the earth to the other side? Thumb. Alice landed on a pile of dry leaves. She looked around quickly and suddenly saw the white rabbit again. It disappeared, saying, Oh, my ears and whiskers, how late it's getting. Alice stood up and saw a small door about 15 inches high. It was too small for her to go through. She saw a glass table with a golden key on it. She tried the little golden key in the lock and to her delight it fitted. And then next, here, Alice opened the door and looked into the loveliest garden she had ever seen. How she longed to be among those beds of bright flowers and those cool fountains. But she could not even get her head through the doorway. Oh, wow, I wish I could become smaller, she exclaimed loudly. Next, we are going to read new words and its meaning and also its sentence. Okay, children, here, scamper. It means to move quickly with light steps. Sentence for that, my little brother scampered all over the floor. Okay, and then next word for you, hurry. Meaning is done quickly. Sentence for that, I hurried towards my classroom for the examination. And then next word, popped. Go somewhere, often without notice. Sentence for that, the rabbit suddenly popped down a large rabbit hole. And then next, disappeared. Go invisible. Sentence for that, my pencil disappeared from the table. And then next, whiskers. Long hair projecting from the face of animals. Sentence for that, my cat has long whiskers. And then, dear children, note it down today's homework. Okay, so this is homework for you. These new words you want to write just two times only in your homework note. Okay, what are the new words we have seen in our previous slides? A is scamper. It means to move quickly with light steps. And then hurry. Done quickly. Popped. Go somewhere, often without notice. Disappear. Go invisible. Whiskers. Long hair projecting from the face of animals. Okay, children. These five new words you want to write just two times only in your homework note. Okay. So, this is today's homework for you. Okay, children. We will see in our next video. Thank you.